Hello and welcome to the Joy of Yoga. I'm Joy Scola. Today we have a special treat for you. We are going to go through a mermaid yoga flow. This can be done in or out of your fin. If you do decide to join me in your mermaid fin though, please be very cautious. Know your limitations. Don't go past anything you don't feel comfortable doing. Uh, but this is going to really prepare you for when you get in the water with your tail and give you the core strength you need to really push through the water with ease. I'd really like to thank thetwotails.com for helping us to acquire these beautiful tails so we can create this wonderful workout for you. Uh, if you would like to maybe look into the option of renting a tail before buying, you can check out Modern Mermaid. We will have a link for you at the bottom. All right, go ahead and if you're not already seated, please come to a seated position on your mat. On your next inhale, reaching the arms up nice and tall. And exhale, folding forward. You might find that your legs don't have as much room. Um, you're kind of a little bit more constricted than usual with the tail on. Um, so just really only go as far as you can without collapsing the spine, really pulling through with the chest. Even if you're only moving forward half an inch, that's great. That's where you're at in your body. Keep breathing, keep moving with your breath. Every time I inhale, I'm reaching my spine nice and long. And exhale, folding just a little bit deeper. Practice, practicing your yogic breathing will help for when you are about to go underwater, you take in nice deep breaths, fill your whole body with oxygen so that way when you're down there, you have all the air you need to swim around, pose, wave high, blow kisses. <laughs> before having to come back up again. And go ahead and inhale to sit back up. Now we are going to take the right arm up and reaching back behind us, placing it lightly on the mat. We'll take our left arm, reach it over so it's pressing into our side here and twisting to look over that right shoulder and always breathing, sitting up nice and tall, pulling in the belly, tucking it with the ribs. and inhaling back to center and exhaling other side And inhaling back to center. All right, now we are going to lean back on the tailbone slightly, lifting the tail and holding here with the knees bent in a modified boat pose. Holding, breathing. If this is too much trouble for you, you can always place your hands behind your waist and try not to dump all of your weight into it, but really working to keep the chest up, belly in, legs pulling up and in, and exhale, lower down. Hmm. Breathing, hmm. catching your breath. 
All right, and again, you can keep your hands behind you if you need to, that's perfectly fine. We're going to bend the knees again and twist to tap the fin back in and rotate to tap the other fin back in. You can really extend it out for an added workout here or even take the hands away, but stick with whatever feels good for you. You really want to work the core. That's what you use a lot of when you're using your tail. A couple more each side. Moving with the breath. And lower back down. Good job. And taking a few breaths here. And we can actually slide our fin out some and keeping our hands just underneath our shoulders, pressing up into an upward plank. Let me scoot my, my fins out a little bit more. Pressing up through the hips. <sighs> keeping the tummy nice and flat. Again, if that is too much for you, you can always come to your elbows and press up or Stay right here, whatever feels good. We're holding, breathing, lifting, squeezing the glutes, pushing into the feet, pressing the tops of the legs to the ceiling. And exhale, slowly lower back down. Breathing. All right, go ahead and take your time with this, flipping over to your belly. All right, staying um, pressing into the tops of the knees, go ahead and push up into a modified plank. And then we are going to press our left hand into the mat to push up and then the right. Left hand comes down, right arm, moving with the breath. If this is too difficult for you, you can always just hold here on the elbows and lightly push forward or keep working on pressing up and down, keeping the core nice and tight. And a couple more times. Very nice. Go ahead and lower all the way down. Hmm. Taking a few breaths here. And then when we go into our next inhale, we are going to roll up, bringing the shoulders back and down, reaching the hands towards the fins, lifting the fin up, 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 lightly squeezing the buttocks and breathing. Hold. Two. And five, really reach up on that last inhale and slowly with control lower down on the exhale. And then again on your next inhale, rolling up and breathing. Storm within, calm without. Staying really long in the spine and the neck. If you want an added little challenge here, you can reach the arms out in front or feel free to bring them behind.
And on that last inhale, really rising up, reaching, 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 and exhale, lowering down. Taking some time, catching up with the breath. Then whenever you're ready, we're gonna go into that one more time. So again, on your next inhale. Again, last inhale, really reach for it. And ah, slowly lower down. Mm. Catching up with the breath. Now feel free to stay in this pose for as long as you need to, or you can flip over for a regular corpse pose. Great job, my fellow mermaids and mermen. I hope that this was enjoyable for you. And please let me know if you have a tail, what kind, or if you're thinking about getting one. I want to know what your style is all about. Um, also, if you enjoyed this, please let us know. We would love to make some more. If not, let us know why. Please be constructive with your feedback. I'm here to grow and learn just as we all are. So again, thank you for taking the time to work out with me and I hope to see you under the sea.